Okay, thought I'd try something different um, with uh, coffee while you're you're hiking or camping. I am addicted to the uh, coffee pods, the Keurig coffee pods. So I'm going to try this out and uh, see if I can make some coffee with one of these because they're good to uh, take along with you. They don't spill or anything. And um, see if I can make some coffee, decent coffee, with uh, some boiled water in, in one of these. So let's get started. Now I've just, uh, I'm just using my Alex um, uh, oil, or not oil, alcohol burner uh, with the XTS uh, Ollie Camp Pot, and I'm finding that's working pretty good. I um, took it out both of them out on a uh, recent hike, did a proper field test and it was awesome. They worked both uh, very very well and they, uh, they're they not heavy so um, so far so good. I only have about a uh, little less than two cups of water in there right now, shouldn't take too long and uh, we'll see see what happens when I throw one of these things in. I'm going to cut the bottom out, I think that's the best idea. And uh, we'll see what happens. So all I've done is, uh, roughly as you can tell, chop the bottom off with uh, my uh, rat one here. It's getting a bit of use. Well, can't really tell, but the black's coming off anyways. But um, that's all contained in there and I plan on just throwing that right in the pot and seeing what happens so I'll have to wait and see it's only a few minutes in I'm not timing it but maybe two minutes in I can hear a little rumble. Now the reason I'm using one of these is uh, sort of at your uh, local or our local grocery stores, so we's in the superstore. It's sort of hard to find um, inexpensive, uh, in well not instant coffee, but portable coffee, sort of like in a tea bag. So that's why I'm using that. Um, I'm just going to put her in now. It's not a full boil at all, but it's getting hot. You can tell by the steam. And, uh, I don't know. It's the first time ever using it. I'm going to see if I can submerge this. There, it's sort of soaking up the water now. Once it comes to a boil, maybe I'll take it off the heat and let it sit for a while. I don't really want to boil the plastic too much, but there it's rumbling now. Let it go for a little bit and then take it off the heat. All right. I'll take that off. I'll shut down the fire. And I'll chuck the lid on and Give it a few minutes. Yeah, the plastic actually looks like it's melted a bit. And I'll let that sit for a bit. Okay, I'm a little impatient. I don't want to sit around while this does nothing. So I'm going to put the simmering ring on because I've never used it. And uh, throw the pot back on. If it starts boiling again, I'll maybe uh, take it right off. But see if that speeds it up. We're only a few minutes in, it's actually not too long right now. I can definitely smell coffee. Take a peek. The water doesn't look dark though. I guess my plan is to let it soak and then uh, you can pick that right up and squeeze. Let me see if I can show you. Squeeze the walls of this thing. Yeah, it's not looking too healthy with that melted plastic. 
It's not boiling or anything, but uh, I'll let it go longer. Sort of slow process, but whatever. All right, I fished the uh, coffee pod out of the water. It's a little slick. Sorry about the lighting here. I'm just in my shed, no lights, and it's another rainy and snowy spring day in Nova Scotia. So I'm going to give that a squeeze because the water looks like water. And that is hot. Very hot. Oh my goodness, that's hot. Maybe I'll get some gloves. This does not look promising. Okay. I'll chuck that in. Next time I'll get some gloves and let that soak and then I'll squeeze it again. Alright, take two. It's uh, it's hot when you're holding it with your bare hands. I mean, it's, it doesn't burn you, but if you got gloves around, maybe that's a better idea. So... It smells, sort of looks like coffee now. Maybe I'll let it go a little longer. Yeah. Get a knife here and dunk that under. Oops. All right. And I still got the flame going on, uh, on simmer. And the water's not boiling, so uh, I don't know if it's doing anything, but I'll give it maybe another minute, squeeze that pot again, and see if it tastes like coffee. All right, maybe a minute later. And it seems pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't think of it. I, I, I want to say thick, it's not thick, I mean concentrated. Seems it's concentrated, so maybe it's gonna taste good. So, I think that's it. It's pretty much squeezed out. This looks like death. But uh, let's pour it into the mug here. Get my mug. Give it a little swirl. See what happens. Yeah, it looks. Uh, it looks like coffee. Eat the flame anymore. Love this little thing, by the way. It's working awesome. So, well, I will taste it and I'll get back to you. Alrighty. I am uh, pleasantly surprised. It tastes like coffee and maybe a little plastic. I don't know if that's my imagination, but it tastes good. It tastes like coffee. It's, you can tell it's. It doesn't look too weak. It. I think it's stronger if you use the machine, of course, inside, but if you're on the trail and you want to take one of these, you just cut the bottom off, chuck her in, give her a few squeezes, and you got yourself some coffee. Of course, you got garbage as well. That's the one drawback to these damn things. Convenient, but I hate, I hate packaging. I hate plastic, but you know what? I'm sort of addicted to it. But anyways, it's good. I would recommend it. If you uh, want to try it out, it's definitely coffee. So, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, everyone. I'll uh, try to keep the videos going. Thanks again.